Dear friends of knowledge, welcome to this presentation about Wikipedia in Frisian and Luxembourgish. I'm Zico van Dijk, historian and linguist. The Wikipedia language versions differ from each other in size but also in the content they provide. With this in mind, I ask, when the Wikipedia community of a language version produces content, does it try to represent all topics of the world equally? Or does it focus on topics that are particularly related to the language in question? Some languages are considered lesser resource languages. Accordingly, Wikipedia in such a language also tends to have limited resources. Should these resources be used for a local focus? Or is that an undesired self-restraint creating a knowledge gap itself? Eigenbezug according to Kloss. The linguist Heinz Kloss assumes that a small language produces written texts primarily in certain domains and at certain levels. The three levels here are first the non-fiction that everybody learns at school, second non-fiction for the job or other specialized domains, and third the university and research level. The three domains are first self-related, eigenbezogen topics from the own sphere of life of the linguistic community, for example its language, literature, local history, native traits, etc. Second, the humanities. Third, science and technology. According to his assumption, literature is produced in the small language on all three levels, but only if the subject belongs to the first domain, eigenbezug, self-related topics. In the second domain, one reaches only levels 1 and 2, and the third domain, only the lowest level. The two languages selected here are minor West Germanic languages. Both Frisian and Luxembourgish are rather small languages, with a few hundred thousand speakers each. In many domains of society, they are not dominant, but have to compete with larger languages. In the Dutch province of Friesland, this is Dutch. In Luxembourg, the other two official languages are French and German. Wikipedia on Eigenbezug Wikipedia in Frisian says, on the page What Wikipedia is Not, that it is not an encyclopedia of Friesland. It is supposed to be an encyclopedia about the whole world. The Wikipedia in Luxembourgish has Eigenbezug in the rules for notability. I have asked several contributors of Frisian Wikipedia and Luxembourgish Wikipedia. While none of them are in, favor in, are in favor of a mandatory focus, there are differences. Some contributors argue that the language version should prioritize these topics, while others believe that an encyclopedia should cover all areas. Content in comparison I have evaluated and compared a number of articles and categories with or without Eigenbezug. Here are just some examples. Wikipedia in Frisian has 11 articles on dialects of Frisian. I looked at the size and quality of these articles and compared them to Dutch and English Wikipedia. The articles of Frisian Wikipedia perform best, Dutch Wikipedia significantly worse, and English Wikipedia has only three short articles on three of the eleven dialects. Church buildings in a municipality in Friesland. Harlingen has 16 church buildings. Each of these have an article in Frisian and a corresponding article in Dutch. The content is not exactly the same, but similar in detail and scope. Wikipedia in Luxembourgish has a category on novels in Luxembourgish. None of the 40 articles has a counterpart in any other language. About the use of sources, if an article mentions sources at all, the source is mostly in a dominant language. Sources in the small languages are quite rare, and this is especially true for specialist or scientific literature. Readers As seen, the Wikipedias and Frisian and Luxembourgish have content that can compete to some extent with the content of other Wikipedias. Consulting Wikipedia in the small language may be a rational choice indeed. Several contributors believe that readers do come to the small language version for content with Eigenbezug. Others are afraid that readers don't even know their language version at all. There are official Wikipedia statistics regarding the number of page views. However, I have often the impression that they are flawed. For example, in March 2023, Luxembourgish 
Wikipedia had been accessed 78,000 times from Luxembourg, but also 20, 21,000 times from India. It is hard to believe that there is a significant Luxembourgish-speaking group in India. Articles with Eigenbezug do not necessarily generate many page views. One example is the 40 articles about novels in Luxembourgish. Only two articles had an average of at least one page view per day. However, generating a lot of page views doesn't have to be the main goal for the own language. It can be also a value in itself that the language version covers the topic completely, for example, all architectural monuments in the region. Discussion and conclusion. A Wikipedia language version has limited resources. These should be used primarily for content that is most important for the readers. However, this assumes, without proof, that these readers are indeed interested in topics with Eigenbezug. One contributor said that most speakers of, Luxembur of Luxembourgish speak several languages anyway. They find other topics in other language versions. This may be a suitable strategy in Luxembourg, because Luxembourgish and German are mutually intelligible, but not in other countries. A negative view sees Eigenbezug as an undesirable self-restraint that runs counter to values such as multiculturalism. As one interviewee said, an enforced restriction does not fit to an open encyclopedia. In this research, I used an approach by Kloss. There is clearly a focus on Eigenbezug in the two Wikipedias. However, it was difficult to see with the same clarity the three different levels. One has to keep in mind that Wikipedia is supposed to be a general reference work. Accordingly, one would have to expect only level 1 and level 2 anyway. To examine more nuanced differences between levels, one would perhaps need to examine a larger Wikipedia. For example, Gordeyeva et Alii criticize the Wikipedias in English, Russian and German for being too difficult to read. To understand articles about diseases, one needs a college degree, they say. These large versions have partially become specialist and scientific encyclopedias. Conversely, one might say that the Wikipedias in Frisian and Luxembourgish perhaps come closer to the ideal of Wikipedia as an encyclopedia for everyone. Thank you.